हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू विजडम जॉब्स दिस इज रूपेश जाधव अगेन विथ अनदर पॉइंट रिगार्डिंग द वन ऑफ द टॉपिक ऑफ इंडियन जोग्राफी एंड बिफोर गोइंग दैट आई विल लाइक टू टेल यू टू गो थ्रू माई अदर वीडियोज ऑन क्लाइमेट सीजन जियोलॉजिकल टाइम स्केल जियोलॉजिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इंडिया क्लाइमेट फोर विज सीजन्स दैन कोस्टल एरिया आईलैंड नॉर्दर्न इंडियन प्लेन पेनसुलर प्लेटू हिमालय आई हैव डन लॉट ऑफ वर्क सॉइल्स स्पेशली ओके सेपरेट सॉइल्स so you just go through those videos and please give like comment and share those video to your friend and also subscribe my channel wisdom jobs so without wasting that time let's go forward here the next question which of the following physiographic of india physiographic division of india was formed out of accumulation of tethys geosyncline so from tethys geosyncline which part was formed was it himalaya was it peninsular plateau was it northern indian plain or was it coastal plain okay so which exactly was formed so now let's go for it the answer is himalaya the himalaya mountains for were formed as a result of collusion between indian plate and the eurasian plate which began 50 million years ago so indian plate and eurasian plate that is the thing 225 million years ago india was a large island situated off the coast australian coast and repeated from asia by the tethys sea now let's check out what is the thing here there was indian plate and here there was eurasian plate and between those there was tethys sea this was tethys sea okay so as per continental drift theory continental drift theory i am making a one video on this part also continental drift theory so this tethys sea there were sediments deposited here at the base at the lower okay this indian plate give uh, pressure or collide on the indian plate uh, sorry eurasian plate so to every action there is always equal and opposite reaction newton's third law so this presses the sediments deposited here that continue to rise and leads to the formation of himalaya okay so himalaya was formed due to this tethys geosyncline from the sediment sediments these sediments which were accumulated at the base of the tethys sea those due to those sediments accumulation the himalaya was formed okay so the himalaya was formed now but the other part of the question is how the peninsular plateau has been formed so let me tell you peninsular plateau this part become the peninsular plateau indian plate which was already formed near about 225 million years ago at the base of africa near this is africa here it was attached with along with the australia so this was this indian plate or peninsular plateau when it starts moving towards the geosyncline was there here there was geosyncline that is tethys sea here it was and here it was eurasian plate so this started moving towards this side and that leads to so it simply means that peninsular plateau was the first part of the india out of the four physiographic division which are those four physiographic division northern himalaya mountain second northern indian plain third peninsular plateau and fourth one coastal coastal plain along with islands so here logical first the peninsular plateau was formed when it start moving from this australia towards eurasian plate along with peninsular plateau coastal plain were also formed so peninsular plateau plus coast plain okay so these were formed then coastal plain then form first peninsular plateau form second coastal plain then form himalaya and the rivers which flows over the himalaya and peninsular plateau deposited the sediments here in and that leads to the formation of north indian plain northern indian plain okay hope you might understood in the sequence so first peninsular plateau second coastal plain was al already forming third one is himalaya and the rivers which flows over himalaya and peninsular plateau leads to the formation of northern indian plain okay 
so this collision began near about 50 million 65 millions to 50 million years ago and this himalaya was formed okay the formation of himalaya how the peninsular plateau has been formed the northern indian plain has been formed in a very small way and tricky way the sequence of the formation of the various physiographic division of india and this might have clear your idea about the physiographic divisions of india and their formation so i think this might be definitely give like comment share and subscribe my channel wisdom jobs okay thank you